After reviewing the sequels of the Pipeworks trilogy, I decided it was time to finish the fight, unlike Halo. So today, we're reviewing the first game in the trilogy, Destroy All Monsters Melee. I know I did these out of order, but the reveal compilation will have them in order later. So given I played the sequels, maybe the first game won't hold up? Surprisingly it does, in fact it's a dang good time. So let's get this series over with. This is Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee for the Nintendo GameCube, Nintendo's most underrated console. The game controls pretty good, in fact I'd say it's better than Unleashed in that regard. Just more smooth and fast pace, you got light attack, heavy attack, grab, special attack like energy beam or rockets if you're Mechagodzilla, you got a dodge and a jump button and then you have the block button as well as a free movement button you get out of being locked for, of, towards an opponent to move away, let alone easily grab a power up. As for power ups you got health recovery, energy recovery, rage, and Mothra support. For the first game in the trilogy, there's a decent roster of kaiju. You got Godzilla 90s, Godzilla 2000s, Anguirus, Megalon, Gigan, King Ghidorah, Mecha Godzilla, Orga, Mecha King Ghidorah, and Destroya. The question mark is just random selection. I never knew that as a kid and was pissed I never unlocked the so-called last kaiju. Mothra isn't playable yet, though. You can at least summon her with the power-up on the battlefield to attack your opponents. Overall, it's an okay roster, though I wish they would have included some more underdogs like King Caesar. The campaign is called Adventure, where you select whatever kaiju you want and battle your way through a few rounds of them. Once you get to the mothership and face Orga, win, and the alien vision is over. That's it. The only reason to play this mode is to unlock new arenas and kaiju. But then again, given the time period this game came out in, you could just use cheats to unlock everything. Which I did, because I'm not grinding away. I hate grinding. Unless it's the good kind of grinding. Go to the church and ask God to forgive you. There's no 4 player versus mode with CPUs. You can only have up to 4 human players. So for single player, you get versus, which is just one on one fighting. That does suck and kind of ruin the game for me. A part of the appeal to fighting games like this is having lots of people battling at once. Imagine you couldn't play against more than one CPU in Super Smash Bros. You could only have more than two players if everyone is a human with their own controller. Lame. So if you're into single player only, you have versus, adventure, and survival. That's it. Kind of sad. And survival is just continuously playing more and more matches until game over. So it's nothing great. At the end of the day, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee still holds up, even if it does have a small roster of kaiju compared to Save the Earth. It at least offers something, but nothing really grand. For being the first in the trilogy, Melee gives you a decent amount to play with, but I would say, out of all three games, just stick to Save the Earth on Xbox or PlayStation 2. But hey, one good thing I can say about this game is it has better graphics, at least because of the PS2's hardware limitations, and also native 4 player support. So, hey, at least Melee got something going for it. Anyways, with the Pipeworks trilogy now done, I'm not sure what to review next in the Godzilla line of games. Eh, but I'll think of something one day. Till then, see you all later. time to talk about the Godzilla trilogy of fighting games, but we'll start with the sequel, since I never got to play it growing up. 
I mean, I could have, as I always saw it at a Best Buy. Yet for some reason, I was too loyal to destroy all monsters melee on the GameCube that I decided to never give Godzilla Save the Earth for the PS2 a fair chance. Until now. So let's start off with the plot. It's stupid and very Godzilla. You have to fight all these monsters just to, to, to stop an alien invasion of Earth. Because they want G cells. What are G cells? Who knows? Who cares? Just watch giant monsters fight and beat the crap out of each other and destroy the entire world in the process, goddammit. That's all that matters with a Godzilla movie anyways, too. So just fight and destroy the Earth to save the Earth. Cause plot reasons. Break yourself As for the roster of Kaiju, it's tiny. Like domination for the GBA tiny. Oh lord, please don't tell me. Thankfully, it's just the starters. You unlock the rest by using points in a store. You get points by completing various objectives within the story mode, like destroying certain objects, completing challenges, beating up the monsters and winning each round, playing on a certain difficulty, and of course, collecting G cells. I only got roughly 40,000 points, yet you need 60,000 points to unlock a single monster. Yeah, no thanks, I won't be coming back because of this. That's way too grindy. Imagine replaying the story mode over 20 times just to get every single kaiju. Nope, not happening. It's... It, it's awful. Thankfully though, combat-wise, the game is improvement to melee, mostly because it has an extra shoulder button and two clickable analog sticks for L3 and R3. I have no complaints as the characters move pretty fluid for a PlayStation 2 game. The combat is simple enough to get into, as well with basic punch, kick, and other like tail swipe. Alongside that you get block, run, and grab buttons which I'll never get tired of watching Godzilla toss kaiju like pizza dough before swatting them with his tail. Pizza time. Next up is the god awful challenges, which don't work well with the combat and movement. You have to destroy buildings in one to get enough points, but it's hard with the systems that are designed with kaiju in mind and not tiny buildings with tiny hitboxes. Then you got a challenge where you need to shoot down UFOs be and defend a tower. Yeah, again, the controls don't work in your favor, even with the lock-on system, as the UFOs move too fast, and Godzilla can only move his head so far before his atomic breath is useless. Finally, we have extra modes like versus, survival, melee, and multiplayer on top of the store and promo for the Godzilla movie at the time, Final Wars, which was okay. I did like the new Gigan design. Still, better than any American version of Godzilla. Fuck Hollywood. So we'll just talk about melee. It's your typical four monster battle mode. You got free for all, team battle, and point battles. So pick your kaiju, opponents, monsters, and the location. You only have two locations and six monsters at first and must unlock the rest, to which I mentioned earlier is too grindy for my taste. So how do battles play out, especially with four monsters at once? Actually really well and very fast paced and chaotic. I honestly was surprised at the camera working well with all the fighting going on. I really enjoyed melee mode after a few rounds. <coughs> so I'll list off the locations and kaiju you can unlock for those who are interested, let alone want to bother with the game themselves and unlock everything, to which I'd say just go play a Korean MMO at that point. So anyways, the locations are Los Angeles, Seattle, London, Osaka, New York, Paris, and San Francisco. Then finally, the kaiju you can unlock are Baragon, Destroya, King Ghidorah, Mecha King Ghidorah, Mecha Godzilla, G2, 
Jet Dragoir, Mecha Godzilla 2, Mogura, Mothra, Orga, Mega Gears, and Space Godzilla. Oh, my favorite! At the end of the day, I did have a good time, but the grind held my enjoyment back and costed the game some points, alongside the lackluster plot. I mean, why even include one if you can't even be bothered to make it good? So anyways, Godzilla Save the Earth is a decent game, and a decent improved sequel to destroy all monsters melee. I'll look into melee or unleashed next, not sure which, but that will be at a later date. Godzilla Unleashed is the final game of the Pipeworks trilogy, and boy howdy did they go out with a turd. The game is barely anything different from Save the Earth, with no new content and even more clunkiness, especially the Wii version. But of course, I'm no Nintendo version, so we're looking at the PlayStation 2 version instead. This is Godzilla Save the Earth 1.5, I mean Godzilla Unleashed pointless cash grab sequel to save the earth that adds nothing and does nothing. But hey, they finally added a stupid story that they wanted originally put in save the earth, which sucks and isn't interesting whatsoever and is just tacked on there. Like a majority of fighting games, the story is garbage and only there to give you a false sense of money well spent. He ain't lying. The plot is unknown crystals appear on Earth, and no one knows why. I know why, because they can't come up with a good story, that's why. There is nothing to it, but the mode itself tried to do something by having you do certain things in every battle, depending on the kaiju you play as, you may or may not make enemies with certain kaiju and face them in battle. Which isn't great, because there's no indication who's friend or foe. And you can have friendly fire the entire time with no lock on system to toggle opponents. You just randomly lock on to any kaiju and hope for the best. You also go on for far too long. I mean, fighting games are just simple short bursts of fun. If you like shitty 90s mechanics, that is. There is no reason for the story mode to exist. Plus, you also have to go on for far too long. I mean, you fight over 15 battles. And for what? Nothing. As for what you get for playing story mode? Nothing. You get nothing. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stupid! You're so stupid! You earn points throughout, but there's no reason, as the store has nothing inside of it as everything is already unlocked. So you earn points for nothing. Like an arcade game, they're there to give you a false sense of pride and accomplishment long before EA could ever hope to with Loot Front 2. It can't get worse, right? It can and it will, and here it is. Brawl mode is the same as the first time around. They literally added nothing. It's the same old, same old with the two same old options, deathmatch or point match, with team or solo. Then you'll notice the roster is tiny. Yep, they only added one new monster and it's a fucking rock. You also only have a couple of arenas to fight in, all of which you will play constantly in the same freaking arena over and 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 over again in story mode. So why the hell would I want to play those same arenas in brawl mode? Exactly, I don't. So there's nothing special here, and like in story mode, you can't target certain monsters and friendly fire is a massive issue. The only appeal this mode has is the fact you can choose which monsters to fight, but that is about it. Ha! Gay! The store has no purpose, as you cannot use your points on anything because everything is already unlocked, and you get nothing for beating the story mode anyways, besides stupid pointless points. 
but hey, you can view stupid concept art in this stupid store. That's stupid. Stupid thinky, stupid thinky, stupid thinky. I can do that a long time. The gameplay is largely the same, with nothing different really from Save the Earth. You still have the awful camera, especially when running around trying to lock onto moving targets like the final boss. That was the absolute worst part, just like in Save the Earth with the fast moving UFOs. So yeah, if you played Save the Earth and Destroy All Monsters Melee, or just one of them, then you've already played this game. You'd think for the third game, they'd, oh, I don't know, make the game more fluid and enjoyable? But nope, just the same copy and pasted hack job. So let's move on to the rest and be done with this trash heap of a game. Okay. The roster is the same as the last game, except they added a stupid rock monster. It doesn't even have a name in-game, as the announcer goes silent when the battle's about to begin and the announcer tells you who's who. How lame. So you have Godzilla 90s, Godzilla 2000s, Angry Anus, Gigan, Megalong, King Ghidorah, Mechagodzilla, Mothra, Jet Jaguar, Magra, Baragon, Dame Dame Guy, Orga, Mega Anus, Batra. Yep, that's it. Nothing new, except a rock monster. What the fuck kind of bullshit fuckery is this? Ass. That's about it. There's not much else to talk about. The game is literally just Save the Earth 1.5 with nothing new and tons of performance issues. Even with emulation. The game looks awful and runs awful at almost every turn. In fact, that's why I'm not making a playthrough video because your ears would bleed from all the crunch and static and choppiness. Though there's a huge, huge, HUGE list of cut content that didn't make it into the game, which just makes you realize how cursed Godzilla games are and the fact Toho rushes them out the door and never approves majority of the kaiju just to piss us all the fuck off. The following arenas were cut, Los Angeles and Mount Fuji. Day and night cycle and options were cut as well. They also removed power lines from the levels due to technical reasons. As for the kaiju, are you sure you're ready for this list? Okay, here we go. Fire Lion, Lightning Bug, The Visitor, Hidora, King Kong, Mechaani Kong, Gamera, Zilla, Bagan, Clover, Monster X, Kaiser, Ghidorah. Do I look like a happy camper to you? Didn't think so. At the end of the day, I went in expecting a great game after the second one, yet left wondering what the fuck was even the point of this piece of fucking shit game. Truly, a mind fuckery unlike any other. Glad I played it now, knowing I didn't miss out on shit as a kid. This turd needs to be shoved back into the sewer where it belongs. No one should have to play this trash heap of a $60 product. Pipeworks should have been ashamed for what they made, let alone didn't make, as barely anything is new. Godzilla deserves better, and maybe one day we will get the best Godzilla game imaginable, where every kaiju is playable, and there's tons of content with great graphics and gameplay. Till then, we'll have to settle for Godzilla Save the Earth for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Anyways, that's it for this video. See you all later. I'll try to find more good games to cover, as I made too many negative reviews lately. You're stupid! You can't add 2 plus 2, you know why? Cause you're stupid, stinky, stupid, stinky, stupid, stinky, stupid, stinky, stupid, stinky, I can do that a long time. Stupid, stinky, stupid, stinky, stupid, stinky, stupid, stinky, stupid, stinky.